G'day everybody, my name's Luke Fitzpatrick and thank you for supporting Fish That Snag. Today's video is all about upgrading the trebles or the hooks on your lures. So here are the uh, bits and pieces that I'll be using today. Um, I'm basically finished two lures, uh, which I'll be using in uh, this week's giveaway. Um, the first is a, uh, a four inch surface popper. Uh, you would have seen that in quite a few of the videos uh, that I've made so far. I'm putting uh, some size six, uh, six by mag trebles from Eagle Core on that one. And I've got this little uh, two and a half, three inch uh, vibe lure. Uh, which I've had a lot of luck with bass and flathead with. Uh, and I'm going to put some size 6 3x trebles uh, again from Eagle Claw. Importantly I've just laid my gear out so I know exactly what I've got. I've got really fat clumsy fingers so I need to try and be nice and organised. Really importantly a good quality pair of split ring pliers. The only real difference between these and normal pliers are the little hook at the end here uh, which allows you to uh, actually split the split ring inside the pliers to actually put it on the lure and I'll uh, show you what I mean by that as I go through the process. So I'll just using this lure I'll just walk you through the process I use for upgrading my trebles and hooks on my lures or just putting trebles and hooks on my newly made lures. Uh, first things first grab the split ring put them in the, uh, the pliers as shown and using that little bit at the end of the pliers you literally split the split ring open then thread on your single hook for your trebles I don't actually take it all the way around to start with I, I just take it on a little way and then I use the gap that's been created to thread it onto the eyelet of the lure and then I use the pliers uh, to pull the split ring around uh, effectively th threading it onto the treble eyelet and the eyelet on the lure at the same time just saves me uh, a couple of seconds uh, and I keep doing that until I hear two little clicks to tell me that everything's locked into place then test it just to make sure it's uh, moving freely sitting the way you want it to sit and then move on to the next one and I use exactly the same process that's why these pliers are are so great. I used to do it with my fingernails and things and uh, it becomes troublesome. Just a word of warning, uh, if you're using the little light split rings and things and you put them into those pliers and you're squeezing a bit too hard, they do have a habit of coming out at a very high velocity and disappearing into your workshop somewhere where they can never be found again. Very frustrating especially when you've only got one or two left in the packet. So there you go, that's how uh, difficult it was. Pretty easy, short, sharp and sweet, just how I like it. Thanks for watching uh, my video. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you out in the water.